Okay, let's move for this warm up, all right? We wanna get blood flowing. We're gonna alternate between a strength move and a cardio move. So strength, cardio, strength, cardio, strength, cardio. Six exercises in a circuit. Knees up. We'll go for 40 seconds with our strength, and then we'll go for 30 seconds with our cardio. So the strength is more focused on form and moving specifically with the weight, and then the cardio is all about just moving, okay? If you want to stand and dance, great, stand and dance. We want to get that heart rate up, right? But I will give you options of good moves. Kick it out. This is a fun format. This is a very common format that I used with my hip classes. Out and in. Back then, I was doing a lot of jumping, burpees, jump squats, that sort of thing. I do not recommend that over 40 you do that. That put me into a situation of needing a back surgery. So that's what this channel is all about. It's about keeping you safe. So go ahead and grab one of your medium weights if you have choices. And hold this weight behind your head. Point your elbows out. Weight is in your heels. You're going to hinge forward like a deadlift. It's called good morning. Come on up. Once we're up, we're going to lean. Ready? Good morning. Good morning. Down and up, nice and slow. This is your strength. Calves are tight. Lean to one side. Bring it up. Down and up. Lean to the other side. With this move, I want you to think about flat back. Abs tight. I do want you to keep breathing. Elbows are out to the side. You're just forward, right? By being out to the side, gives you a little bit more lever there. Increases the work on the muscle a little bit. Okay, look, we're going to get one extra lean over on this side, but that's okay. We have a lot of ab work in this workout. This is an ab and cardio workout. You will get plenty of obliques. Now, moving on. We're going into a side lunge. I'm going to have you step to your right. You're coming over and up. Over, up. Cardio. Let's go. Reach down, reach up. Whoops, that didn't look too good today. And up. The first couple can be challenging. And up. Come up on your toe if you can, right there. You're just starting out. You want to just bring the toe in. Keeping that foot down for a little bit more balance. This just increases balance work, increases core work, but when you both upper and lower are moving at the same time, you're getting that core, I promise. One more. And I said one more. Good rest. Now don't worry, we'll get the other side. Remember which side you just did. Going to one way, and I'm going to show you if you're just starting out, I want you to use a chair for this. Do a single legged deadlift. Put your hand on the chair. Ready? Here we go. So the leg is up, same side as the weight. Tap the toe for balance. Use this chair as you come down. Keep yourself balanced. This is core and balance. Do a lot of balance work around here because as we age, Want to stay balanced. Now think about your hips. Square to the mat. Don't lift the hip up like that, okay? You can square. That's actually going to help your balance. Your standing leg is a little bent, almost always. And rest. Good. Moving this chair over. And go to the other side with your side lunge. Chair out of the way. And we'll be going. Step in that way. Ready? Here we go. Over and up. Up. Up on your toe if you can. Just starting out. Immediate. More advanced. Add that toe raise. And as you see, it's a challenge for me. So it is definitely an advanced move. Try a couple. It's all about balance. Right? And as you Get better with your balance. You're going to be able to be up there on your toe. But you need to work into that. So back to that single legged deadlift. Same hand, same leg as the hand that's holding the weight. Standing leg closest to the chair. As that little bend. Turn it up. Advance. Keep that leg up off the ground. And 
Let's move. Otherwise, you can put that toe down. Give yourself a little bit of a balance check there. Back is staying flat here. Ooh, a little balance. Some days you'll do this and you'll be great at it. Other days, your balance won't be as good. That just is uh, a natural phenomenon in life, I guess. You have to step and reach, you have to step, reach, step, reach, move, okay? Let's see, I'm step and reach, bring it back, go the leg. So, depending on how much sleep you've gotten, you know, what's quality of food you've eaten, how hydrated are you? All of those things play into balance. You know, things like it sounds awful, but did you go to the bathroom today? All of those things can throw your body off balance-wise. So if you have a bad balance day, don't think like you're falling apart or anything. You're not. You're just off balance for that day. And this type of work is going to increase your balance. So even on a day that you're not doing great, you're going to have that extra added balance support. Okay. Nice and light here. You can go without weight. Okay, this is a hard move. We're gonna pull the weight up here. Bring your knee up. Out, in, down. One side at a time. So we're starting with your right leg moving. Ready? Do your best. I'm gonna give you an option here. If this is too much too soon, here's where you're at. Bring it up. Knee out. Still throwing that balance off. And down, up, out, and down. So options. Try a couple here if you feel strong enough and balanced enough, but don't go beyond your fitness ability. Start here. You'll get better. And you'll work up to it without falling. Don't want you to get hurt. Okay? And let's rest there. That was a tough one. All right. Remember the Charleston? We're going to do the Charleston. So we're going to reach and reach. Kick, reach. Okay? Remember which leg you're kicking with because we're going to do this in two more modes. You want to kick the other way. Here we go. Kick it out. Kick, reach. And I want you to just, this is a dance. Okay? You're moving your arms. You're moving your legs. Your body is pumping oxygen to the body. Your heart is pumping oxygen to the body. And that's what we want. This is your cardio right here. Which do you like better, that the heart that helps work or the heart cardio? <laughs> Leave me a note in the comments area. I love hearing from you. It's nothing more fun than getting up in the morning and checking my YouTube channel and seeing comments from you all. I love it, and I respond to them all. Get ready. Other side of the balance. Get your breath. Raise it up. Knee, out, in, down, or heel off the ground, knee out, knee back to the front, and down. Wobble there. When you wobble, that is your body training itself. This is all training, right? Personal trainer, whoops. Training you to be stronger, better. Balanced, all of it. And that's good. Now I kicked my right leg, which is basically mirror vision, your left side. So I'm going to come this way, kicking the other leg, and down. Kick, and down. Get ready. Three, two, have fun. Go. Did you wake up this morning thinking you were going to go to Charleston today? Probably not, right? <laughs> Almost there, come on. Rest is coming. Damn good. Okay. Alright, on to oblique leaning side to side. So grab two heavy weights. Let 
the medium whites in this case, over and open on the other side. Remember I told you we get these obliques? Well, here we go. Over, up, over, up, good. Now I am limiting my lean a little bit. I cannot lean my spine as it heals. Beyond this, it's in a brace. So I have six months of healing. I don't know that I'll ever lean like I used to, but you get down to where you can control this move and you're getting a nice lean and lifting with that waistline. Over and up. So we got balance on that one, didn't we? Okay, balance as far as seeing them out on either side. All right, we are going up and over and tapping our knees. So big arms, up and over, tap, up and over, tap, up and over, tap, just like that. To your right, ready? Here we go. Up and over and tap, tap, tap. Keeping my feet on the ground. You can jump this if you really want to. All right, but don't be jumping all through this workout. You want to add a little jump here and there and feel strong. I'm okay with that, but the days of doing 45 minute classes of HIT are in the rear view mirror. And that is hard. Very hard to think. Gee, I used to be able to do something and now I can't. But I'm exercising as I age because I want to continue to be able to do most things, right? And that is a great way to get older. Not to be limited, but to really work on the things that are going to make you stronger and better. We are going to a curtsy. Curtsy. You gotta come up. Knee crunch to the side. So more oblique. All right. Give you an option here. Let's start the first rep going. Nice and deep. Up with the crunch. Or while we do a curtsy crunch, you can come up. Do the crunch for the second curtsy crunch that we do. So you're at half speed. As you learn and train your balance, you need to put that foot down at first, and that's totally understandable, and the right way to do it. Okay? Don't push beyond your current abilities. Obviously, you want to work hard, okay? So there's a fine line. Pushing beyond your ability, and working hard. Two different things. Okay, crunching with your right arm. Cross in, crunch, cross, crunch. So moving on to the out, right? in the center of the body while well, we do some cardio. Cool, huh? Oh, I know. <laughs> so like, here we go. Come on. Like, I've been told before, the things you find cool are what we don't find cool, but I'm more than, more just having fun. Might as well, right? While you're exercising, have some fun. Don't take yourself too seriously. Keep moving. I'm smiling, especially in this cardio part, in the strength. I do want you to pay attention to your form. More so than the part you are moving. The form is important always, but especially, especially as we do this strength work. So this is strength. So your form. Down, weight is back. Come up. Knee up, abs are tight. Up at the foot and then the knee. Here we go. So here is the move. Modification. Crunch. So you have time. So while we do that, you do your curtsy. While we do this, you do your crunch. It's a fun one. It's hard. But I like curtsies. Don't like lunges. Many of you know that. But you know, we've heard that before all the time. Oops, here we go. There we go. I lost my balance. Did you catch that? I bet you did, because it was hard to miss. That was pretty graceful. And rest. All right. Other side. Cross punch. What was I saying about not taking yourself too seriously? All right. Cross punch to that crunch in front. Belly button to spine. In three, two. All right. It's up already. We haven't done our cardio. Here we go. Go. Oh, come on. This is a fun one. I don't know. I like to, I thought, why would we do a cardio and I had symptoms in a long time? And it's 
fun combination, I think. He's really into a lot here, right? All your muscles are working, but the strength is really focused in on those abs. Alright, I'm gonna grab, I mean, you might, you're hinging or you're squatting. Okay, so it's down, swing it up to one side, swing and up, or hinge like this. So it's hinge up to one side, or squat up to the other side. Abs are tight here, hold that weight up here, feel that oblique engage. Totally different angle than what we've done so far. You want to do that with strength work. You want to do the same move over and over. For example, like a bicep curl. Biceps are tough. There's not many ways that muscle moves. But you can turn that to a hammer curl. You can turn it to a wide curl. You can hold the weight and push it out and in. And halfway up that bicep. So there are lots of ways to vary the move. Let's get the other side here. And rest. Lots of ways to vary the move to work the muscle from a little different angle. So that's what we're trying to do when us trainers write these workouts. Crunch, kick, crunch, kick, right leg, crunch, kick it, other side, crunch, kick it, abs tight, kick, whoops, the cell, kick, crunch, keep the same leg, keep the rubber lips crunching. We put two different ways of doing this move together. That did not work. Same leg crunches, kicks. Other side crunches, kicks. Finishing the side, we balance. There we go. Alright, take a rest. Nice work. Nice work so far. This is tough stuff. Alright, let's grab our chair. One of my favorite standing ab moves. I guess because it incorporates not just the ab, but the oblique, the glute. Standing leg is slightly bent, arms out, legs up. Pull the belly button tight around the back. Take the leg back, back is flat, squeeze the buttons. Ready? Or not, because we're going. Crunch it. Extend, nice and slow. We came up at cardio, we might want to move fast. We want to go slow here. Pull those abs tight and squeeze that glute tight. And squeeze. Standing leg. Little bend. Don't lock that knee. Just uh, take away from your balance, actually. Locking it. Little bend gives you a little more stability. And keep your blood flowing. You want your blood to flow. And rest. I'm going to beat my chair there for this cardio. So I'm going to stand right in front of it. Pushing it back, forward, back with a heel, 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 heel. So I feel good on the legs. All right, ready? Deep breath, right to it, right leg first. Push, push. Come with me, let's move on this one. Breathe. on this side, along with the core, and your back, all of it, going on, all right, I'm going to wait to set up for the last minute here, are you tired, I'm tired, ready, crunch, and reach, focus on your form, belly button spine, squeezing the glutes, round the back, flatten, do not arch, round, flatten, it's all in the glute, right there. Hips staying square. You get tired, there's a tendency you want to help, but that takes it out of the glute. You just glance at the clock. <laughs> yeah, I try not to do that, but I'm sleeping. That is a long 40 seconds. All right. Moving our chair for this one. We're going up, down with our hands, so hands over head. It's hard right up. We're going to tap, tap, up, tap, up, tap. All right, right leg back. Up, tap. Let's go. Come on. Moving. Cardio. Dancing. Having fun. 
Ten seconds left right now. Let's go. You count down. Thirty, two, one, and press that one. Good job. All right, taking my chair back. Again, think about a nice board here, okay? Nice flat back. I want you to hold this pose right here. More advanced. Leg raise and down. Leg raise. This is what I don't want to see, okay? It's not bad. Right, I want you to keep the back nice and flat. Make this a plank. Just adding this leg raise. For my more advanced folks here, ladies. If your back is to raise up at all, let me just stay right here. Work this plank, okay? Breathe. Don't hold your breath. Breathe. Our arms are tired too, so you're feeling that. And rest. Good job. Okay. Not over. We got a one, two, three, and a knee. We're going to do the right knee first, and we'll walk to your right, to your left. Sorry. Here we go. One, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Knee. Outside. Pose abstinence. In, in. So this one called a lateral move, side to side. We're going to do a similar move and go forward and back in our next circuit. Pose out tight, hold tight. 30 second rest is coming. Work hard with me right now, okay? And rest. You have made it. You've made it to the last circuit. So, Yay us, we got six moves left, and we're gonna stretch. All right. Uh, gravity, light weight, I think here. We're going to a cross punch like we did for the cardio move. We're putting weight in our hands. Cross punch, bring it in, oblique crunch. So the opposite leg from the arm crunches. So you're gonna punch with your right, crunch with your left. Ready? Here we go. Punch, pull, crunch. Strength, so we're slowing this down. Push, pull, crunch it. Feel that waistline? You should. We're at the end of this workout. It's been working hard. Good. Okay. The leg that you're crunching with, let's lead with that. We're going to go one, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. So three steps and a knee. So next round, we're going to lead with the other leg. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, knee. Swing your arms. Bring your toe up again. And then we'll hop there. Stop doing that. It's not good for my back, certainly. I don't want to ever go through that again. So I gotta protect it. I want you to protect it too, because I never want you to go through that if you have, have not already. I have a client who had spinal fusion in her neck. I can't imagine. This was lower back for me. That's gonna be so tough. And we feel it to this day. But we feel a lot better than we did before surgery. Alright, crunch and oblique. Punch it away, I should say. Punch it, crunch it. Punch it to the side. So long as move down from the cardio that we did. Now remember, you've got to lead on this cardio with the leg that is crunching right now. It's a great way to know which leg to use, because we forget, right? And we naturally want to lead with our strong side. Just the natural way that the body performs. Last one. Good, so that leg is going to lead. One, two, three, knee. 
but without subtraction, I'm going corner to corner just because that's the space I have. You need to do this in in standing space. You can. Two. We're just not going to move. Ready? One, two, three. Knee. It's hard coming back. I have to jump. I don't want to jump. I just want to come up and crunch those abs. Moving my arms, moving my legs. Get my heart rate up. I don't know about you, but I got my heart rate up for most of this workout. It was a lot easy. And the rest. Okay. We have a halo. Reaching out for my weight, keeping my head above my heart. Don't put that head below your heart. So think about halo. We are angels. Up and around, you're going to rotate. Then go back to where you came, over your right shoulder. Here we go. Up and around with a rotation. Over your left shoulder. Up and around, back to where you came. And down. And down. Good. Rotate with it. And we're breathing hard. Still, you know, I'm barely moving here. This weight up over my head is making it challenging. Right, come back around with me. And please, let's go back the way we came. Let's make ourselves balanced. And we just have one move here. And it's my favorite cardio. We'll pull our touch. Skate it with big arms. Right, we're just going to get blood flowing the whole body. Let's step out right leg back first. Ready? Go. Get low here if you can. Bend in those knees. You have to keep them straight. Come up here. If you can get low, just using a little bit more muscle, that's all. Helps get that heart rate up. Just any way to help get that heart rate up without jumping. You ready to be done? Three. And done. Congratulations. Great job. You are here now. My clients rate their workouts. One to five stars. And I'll see a three or a four. I'm like, did you do the workout? And they'll say, yeah, I finished the workout. It wasn't my best day. If you're here now, it was your best day. So, okay? Because for the last 30 minutes, you moved your body. Maybe it wasn't your best workout ever, but it was a workout. You know how many people... Didn't do a workout today. Probably about 90% out there. It's a scary thought. We can come up, swing one arm across. Standing stretch here while we do standing workouts. Breathing hard. Let's go to the other side. Palms up, thumbs back, drop your shoulders here. I want you to feel this in your bicep. It's a hard muscle to stretch. Whew. Are you happy? Are you happy it's over? Pat yourself on the back. None of this, get that oblique. We'll do another oblique stretch, but this is an opportunity to hit it the first time. I regretted that workout. Very few people say ever on their side. Usually that's when somebody pushes themselves too hard and they get injured. That's what I'm talking about with that balance. You want to find that balance. Back over to the other side. As far as you can lean, as far as you can reach. You want to be safe in our workouts. And that's, that's a goal around here. So if you're just finally finding this channel, I'm glad you're here. I really, really am. Subscribe to the channel, hands on your knees, round and flat on your back because these workouts are right for women over 40. They're safe, safety cues provided, options provided for joints. Obviously, you work out at your own risk, but I try and give you every possible cue I can. Roll it on up. Then I'm going to step to one side. So there are channels out there that are. Silent workouts, you know, just music playing, which is, is great. That's one way to do it. 
I don't think I could do that because I love talking to you. I love telling you stories and giving you cues on how to move your body safely, push your heel down. I just see as a trainer, that's my job, is to train you to do things right, the right way. And I use myself as an example because I'm usually pulling out of my form and things as well. So when I feel that in my body, I put words to it so that if you're feeling it in your body, you'll recognize it. Good. All right, roll your shoulders. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you the video, it's not putting it in your YouTube library, by the way, so you can find it easily. And deep breath in. Exhale. One more time, deep breath in. And exhale. I hope you come back often. I hope I see you here again. Leave me comments. I'd love to hear from you. Have a wonderful day.